There's a soul right here with you. Wait a minute. Put your hands down right there. Right there that's past the suicide. I'm right there with you. Yep. Can you stand up? So first of all, who is that to you? My daughter's dad. Your daughter's dad. Okay. Can I tell you everything? It's okay. Listen, I'm going to come down there to be with you. Because when I'm connecting with him, he tells me that you're upset with him, but he tells me that you still love him. And I know how hard it is for you to speak to me like this. So know that first of all, he just said to me when I'm connecting with him this, okay? There's a lot of unfinished business between you and between him. And he first of all says to me, Matt, tell her I want to talk about the beginning of our, of our relationship. He wants to thank you for the way that you stuck by him and the way that you stuck with him through and through with all the things that he went through here in this world. He says, because Matt, he says, I'm going to be honest. He says, our relationship wasn't perfect. He says, and we would get together and break up and get together and break up. He says, and it was all my fault. He says, I ruined us. I ruined us. He says, I need to let her know that I'm sorry. Were you at one point supposed to get married or supposed to get engaged? Yeah, he always would talk about us getting married. He tells me. He says, Matt, you don't understand. Her heart breaks every single day because we were supposed to have it all with one another. He says, we were supposed to go and have a family. We were supposed to have a house. We were supposed to do all of these things. He says, but the problem with me is that I couldn't grow up here in this world. And when I'm connecting with him, he says, I did things that I wasn't supposed to do. He shows me when I'm connecting with him that he also took substances when he was here. He says, and I promised you that I wouldn't. He says to me, can you please let her know that I'm coming through right now because you still have a question in your heart. You have a question if he truly loved you, if he truly cared about you, did he mean the things that he said? He says, Matt, I did. He says, but I let things come in between me and come in between her. He says, and I'm sorry for that. Because he tells me that when he was alive, he was not in his right mind here in this world. Do you know that he says to me that when he's coming through, he first of all wants to let you know that he made it to the other side and he's at peace. But the sad part is, is he says, Matt, she's living in pain every single day because of me. And he also tells me, at the time that he had died, did you just have your daughter here in this world? Because he shows me you parenting her all alone. And you had to go through life all alone, being both her mom and her dad. And he says to me, Matt, you don't understand. She begs me. She begs me to be there. She begs me to be a part of our daughter's life. And you never thought that he would die or do anything because he would be thinking of her. He says to me, Matt, he says, what I want her to know is that you were his guardian angel in life. And he wants to thank you for trying to get him to turn his life around here in this world. He keeps telling me, I should have listened. I should have listened. I should have listened. What's crazy is, is that even though he died, and even though there were issues with substances with him and all of these things, he tells me that he wants to thank you for the way that you go and you remember him to your daughter here in this world. You only share the good things about him and about him loving her and watching over her. And this is crazy. He's whispering in my ear, and he's telling me that you like whisper messages to daddy. So did you tell her, talk to daddy, or whisper messages to daddy, wave to daddy? We go see him at his cemetery, and she always says, are we coming to go visit Daddy today? So when you bring her to the cemetery, and you say hi, you say tell him hi, you say messages to him, he hears you. And he wants to thank you so much for keeping her a part of his life. We take her on her birthday or every holiday and decorate it. And for her birthday, we always go bring a candle out there and a cake. And she kisses his stone and tells him, and she cries says she loves him. He tells me this. He says, Matt, I made the wrong choice in life. He says, and what he needs you to know is that your daughter is going to grow up and be fine because of you and because of the woman that you are. He says, but unfortunately, he says, I'm the one that missed out. He says, because of the fact that I could have had an amazing wife, a daughter, a family, a life, he says, but I listened to the wrong people. He says, and I did the wrong things. And I allowed people to come in between me and between you. And for that, I'm sorry. But he's here today to let you know 
that when he died, he was not in his right mind here in this world. He would have never made the decision to end his life. It was something that unfortunately he was honored taking that caused him this pain. So know that he's here right now because he wants to let you know one thing. He says, Matt, if I had never gotten involved in substances, any of these things, he says, we would have been together. He says, and we would have had a great life. He says, but don't think, because of the way that I died, that I thought anything less of you or your daughter or anyone. He says, because I love you so much. And he needs you to know that. He's also telling me, because you're going to know, your loved ones talk to me, how they talked here in this world, and he's going like this. Tell her to F the haters, F the haters, he's telling me. <laughs> He's saying to me that like people came out and they started like talking all this shit. They started talking all this shit about like you and him and the relationship, like saying like, oh, he was interested in her or he liked her. Do you yeah. understand that? Yeah. And he's going like this to me. He goes, Matt, he goes, I was a good looking dude when I was here. He says, and I knew how to dress, he's telling me. <laughs> he does. Because he's showing me what I'm connected with him. He was obsessed with sneakers when he yeah, was here. He was. And he's like pointing to his like sneaker collection. Oh, I'm sorry. He's like it pointing was. to his sneaker collection when I'm connecting with him. Yeah. And he goes, listen. These girls were hitting me up. I wasn't hitting them up, he's telling me. And I'm seeing like Snapchat and shit that he got in trouble for when I'm connected. Yeah. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. He said to me, Matt, and he's going like this to me. He's trying to prove it in the afterlife. Like he's showing me his phone and he's like going through like all his DMs. And he's like, look at these came. He's like, these came from them, not me, he's saying. <laughs> he's like, so you let her know that there was nobody else in my life. It was you. And he needs you to know that. He would always tell me that. It was always you. I'm glad I picked you as the mother of my child. Well, he's telling me that same thing now. And he needs you to believe this without a doubt because this is what happens. When you lose somebody and you go through grief, as much as your mind tells you it and as much as you know it, grief sets in. It makes you feel otherwise. So he's here today to finish the conversation to you, to tell you that he's okay, and he wants to thank you for holding on to his hoodie here in this world. <gasps> I have, his, I have his jacket still. He tells he put, me. He put over my daughter's car seat when it was a rainy day, and, and I still have it. He tells me. He says, as long as you have that hoodie, you have me with you. But I got to tell you one thing. He keeps telling me that you keep saying, I'm never going to love again. I'm never going to open up again. I'm going to keep myself up. And I see. Here we go. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> I see this man that's with you that really wants to be with you. So is there somebody that's trying to come into your life right now? There's someone. Okay. Yeah. He says to me, tell her it's okay to love again. He says to me that you have been faithful through your whole relationship with him. You've done nothing but love him. He says, and Matt, I made her a promise. I made a promise I was supposed to protect her. I was supposed to love her. I was supposed to marry her. I was supposed to do all these things, and I took that away from her. He says, and I want her to be able to find love and happiness within her life. Because doing that doesn't mean you let go of him, right? It means that you still are able to pursue that area of your life and that he will be with you as a guardian angel watching over you and your daughter. The person that I'm talking to is the same sign as him. It's the same sign, astrological sign. He's a Pisces, and the person I'm talking to is a Pisces as well. That's amazing. Well, listen, no, it's his way of letting you know that it's okay. Because he shows me there's still a piece of your heart that's shut because of him. And he's letting you know that it's okay to open it back up. All right? I'm going to leave you with that. Can you come here and give me a hug? Can you let her out? I really hope. I really hope that this helped you today. He also said to me, he goes, can you let her know? This is coming from him, not from me. I have a wife. He says to me, can you let her know that she's so hot? He says to me, he says, let her know that she's so, that he says, you got to let her know that she still looks like a snack. <laughs> so no, he says to me this. He says, Matt, he goes, I watch over her in heaven. He says, and you let her know that the same way that I'm protecting her, he says, I'm protecting my daughter. He says, and you better let, know to not take pictures like a mother, he says to me. <laughs> so I don't know what that means, what type of pictures you'll be posting, but know that not he sees that from the other side. <laughs> I'm going to leave you with that. Give her a round of applause.